Well, International Women's Day is a celebration of how far we've come, what we've achieved as women in the workplace um, and in our wider communities. It's an opportunity to really remember how far we've come towards gender equality and also women's rights. This allows us to celebrate the fact that women can bring something different to the party. It's a chance to reflect on all the wonderful women in our lives, so our mothers, our sisters, our friends and our colleagues as well. It's also about uh, celebrating a woman in science but also empowering young girls. And it's also an opportunity to really recognise what more work needs to be done. In particular advancing the rights of women and young girls from disadvantaged communities. To break the gender stereotype. All of us men and women can contribute every day. But it's not just about one day, it's a springboard about the future and about what we've still got to um, look forward to. I think in my field in particular, it's, it's great to be a woman because I'm breaking down barriers and challenging misconceptions. It's really good to have women um, producing and providing insight into how we need to be doing in construction, how we need to build. It makes me very proud to be in a leadership role as a woman um, in this sector and um, helping to you know, forge the path and the way ahead for the whole industry for the future. So I think one of the challenges of being a woman in a highly technical field is that we have less um, role models to look up to. Trying to prove your worth and expertise. There's so much evidence that diversity in the workplace is a good thing, but people don't always understand that. As a woman, I found it sometimes challenging to have a home, family, work balance. Well, I'm fortunate enough to sit on two committees where the gender balance is really excellent. However, we know that um, women are still significantly underrepresented in standards committees, so it's important to address that. And there's work being done within BSI to really address that and ensure that there's much greater diversity on standards committees, and I certainly support that. Many years ago, and this goes back I think to 1993, my marketing manager at the company I worked for at the time came to me and said, BSI are putting forward, putting together a new committee on service management. You're our expert, we'd like you to go along. And it was from there that I got involved, really enjoyed it, met a group of like-minded people, um, and I've been there ever since through developing um, an award-winning book which became a British standard, which then became an international standard. I became a project editor and now chair the committee as well. There's a lot of focus on what businesses are saying and not necessarily what they're doing, you know, focusing on you know, policy rather than, than practice. And you know, really being a standards maker allows us to, to close that gap and, and make a meaningful contribution. I didn't realise really how exciting and how passionate I could be about setting standards. And I was a little bit worried about whether I would have the time to do it as well, but actually that time has really paid dividends and you know, I reap so many rewards professionally and personally. I love doing new things. I like challenges, I like meeting people, and this was a way to do all of those things. You can learn a lot from others, but also you can share your knowledge. I have travelled the world through being involved in international standards. I've made a fantastic network of friends, colleagues. I've got so many more insights. It is um, a great uh, a community of people that are really collaborative and open-minded. So it's important for us to address the underrepresentation of women. This diversity of, of opinions and experience and knowledge is, is allowing us to make a huge impact. Thank you.